Right, we're going to be looking at this particular example from the HSC textbook. Uh, what they've given, they say the incomplete front view and top view of a right regular solid. Okay, it's a solid. Uh, my little model that I've got is not a solid, but uh, it'll give the impression as to what I need. It says, uh, draw the given views, draw the left view, draw the right view, uh, print the suitable name for the solid, all constructions must be shown, and all hidden detail must be shown. Right, what have we got here? I've got this prism, a solid prism. It should be solid, so that should be filled up, but I think this will help. I've got a top view of it. There it is, there's the triangle, and I've got a front view of it, looking at it like that. Right, you'll see that I've got some numbers over here, number one, number two, and that would be number three. I'm going to come to this little triangle over here, and I'm going to put number one, number two, and number three. Now those, number one, two, and three, you'll see that they get transferred to these points over here. Number one, number two, and number three at the top there. Coming down from number three, there's number three coming down. I have number four at the bottom over here. So there's number four. And below three over here, I will have a number four. So I've got a point view of that line. In other words, I've got a three at the top and a four at the bottom. I can't see a line there. I can only see a point of it. All right. Um, if I come over here, I've got, um, uh, there's number four. Let's just get that in the right location. So number four is down at the bottom. Number five will be over here. So that would be number five over there. Number six is down at the bottom. Number six over there. All right. My, all my corners have been numbered. You can see the numbers at the top. You can see the numbers at the bottom. The numbers at the top is one, two, three. The numbers at the bottom are four, five, and six. Does that make sense? Happy? Right. Okay. What we need to do is to look at this thing and say, okay, why is it that I've got a hidden detail line over there? Why is that not a solid line? Well, I think, first of all, we need to understand that little thing over there. That is my projection symbol of what type of drawing is this? Is it a first angle orthographic or a third angle orthographic projection? It's a first angle orthographic projection. Hallelujah, you guys are good. All right, how do I get that? Well, I've got an axis over here. There's my x, y axis, okay? I'm standing on the left-hand side of the front view. That little cone is my front view. I'm looking across, and I see a small circle. There's my small circle, and it's followed by a big circle. The view that I'm seeing is the left view because I'm standing on the left-hand side of the object. Me, looking at the object, the axis, and the view. Let's have a look at this. Me, as a little bird looking down onto this thing, what view am I going to see? I'm going to see that view, a little triangle. Me, looking at the object, the axis, and the view that I see. If I look at this, where am I? There's me with my little bald spot looking across at the top, uh, at the front of this thing. Can you see I'm on the front side of it? I can see number one, number two, number six, and number five. One, two, six, and five. Can you see it? One, two, six, and five. Can you see three and four over here are behind that panel over there? Therefore, it is in hidden detail. Does that make sense? Right. Okay, what do they want you to do with this drawing? Well, they want you to transfer these points so that we can see the left view and the right view. It's a first angle orthographic projection. Which side must the left view go on? Must it go on the left side or the right side? It must go on the right side. You can see it from here. Your left view is on the right side. So how do I do that? I'm going to take some construction lines out from the points at the bottom. And I can take it out onto the other side as well. Okay, I've got some construction lines going across there, construction lines going across there. Let's do the left view first. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to measure off from the XY axis to point one on the top view. I find point one over there. 
I go across to my new XY axis and I place that down and I end up with point 0.1 over there. I say, okay, where's point 0.2? Point 0.2 is that distance away from the XY axis. I come over here, where's point 0.2? Go across to the new XY axis. Hey, what can you tell me about point 0.1 and point 0.2? They're on the same point, aren't they? They are the same distance away from the XY axis. Let's have a look at the right view. Take the distance from XY axis, find point 1, go across the new XY axis, place it down, and I end up with point 1 there. Point 2, we said it was the same distance. Where's point 2? There's point 2. Take it across to the new XY axis, and those two line up over there. So I have point 1 and point 2 on the same point. Seeing that idea? So that distance is the same as that distance. That distance is the same as that distance. Happy? All right, let's do point three. Point three is over there. Find point three, go across to the xy axis and place down point three. Can you see that little distance over there? It's the same as that little distance over there. There's point three, take it across to this new xy axis, place it over there, there's point three over there. Let's look at point four. Point four, that distance, take it across to the new xy axis, knock that down, there's point four. Point four, take it across to the new xy axis, place it over there, point four. Point five, there's point five, take it across to the new xy axis, place it down, there's five. Point six, take it across, place it down. Point six. Right, what can you tell me about point five and point six? They're the same distance, aren't they? So on this, what am I going to have? Point six, I'm going to have a point five with that as well. On this side, we said that point five and point six, they're the same distance. And hey, look at that, they're on top of each other. So I've got point five and point six in the same place. What's that going to look like? There we go. There we go. There we go as a... Which view am I drawing at the moment? A left or a right view? I'm drawing a right view. I'm drawing a right view. Why? Because my left view is on the right hand side. There's, I'm drawing the left view over here. Drawing the left view over here. And we'll have a look at that with the model now so that you can get a better picture. Let's have a look. Um, there's my front view. Okay. If I'm looking from the left hand side, then I'm going to see this view over here. Can you see it? Three and four, one and five. Three and four. 1 and 5. What's behind 1 and 5? 6 and 2. Can you see that idea? You seeing it? There you go. 1 and 2 on that corner over there. 1 and 2. You can see my 1 and 2 that I've written over there. And my 5 and 6 over there. If, I'm, if I've got this thing over here and I'm looking from the right hand side, I'm going to have 2 and 6 and 3 and 4. Not the two, the three and four closest to the xy axis, two and six furthest away. If I come over here, two and six furthest away from the xy axis, two and six furthest away from the xy axis. Can you see that idea? Can you see the transfer of those points? I know that you can use a 45 degree set square over here in order to get those views. That's what you've used in the past. For this particular thing, I want you to use those dividers to move those numbers. Very important that you get that understanding as to where the points are here in relation to where the points are here away from the xy axis. This distance over here from 1 to the xy axis is going to be the same as the distance of from the xy axis to number 1 over there. From the xy axis to number 1 over there. The transfer of number 1's point across there, transfer of number one's point across there. There's point number one, find it on the xy axis, place it down, the distance over there 
same as that distance over there. I hope that that makes sense.